A Fox News contributor who also has her own radio show, Laura Ingram, is attacking Supreme Court Justice so Sonia Sotomayor over her allegiance to the U.S., or at least questioning Sonia's allegiance to the U.S. because she's Puerto Rican. Listen to this. Let's take a look. This, this is just, it, it's, it, it boggles the mind, Lewis. So, so why was this individual sworn in to the bar in California, and why do we have a Supreme Court justice <laughs> whose allegiance obviously goes to, you know, her immigrant uh, family background, not to the <laughs> U.S. Constitution? Yeah. So we have no rule of law. We are going to pick and choose who has to follow the law in the United States. So why is Dinesh D'Souza then being? Yeah. So listen, uh, Sonia Sotomayor was born in the Bronx, which is part of New York City, and she is a Puerto Rican American. Her family is from Puerto Rico, which is part of the United States. So it would be very strange for Sonia Sotomayor, an American from an American family, if her allegiance was to a different country, what country would her allegiance be to? Uh, I don't know. Russia? Just randomly? She has nothing to do with any other country. She's from Puerto Rico and born in the Bronx. Right. I, I don't uh, I don't know. I, maybe she just doesn't realize that Puerto Rico is a U.S. territory. I, I'm not sure. Listen, Supreme Court Justice Antonin Scalia's dad was from Sicily. This gives us, by Laura Ingram's own logic, more reason to question Antonin Scalia's allegiance to the United States than Justice Sonia Sotomayor. But I guess she looks kind of, quote, ethnic, as the right likes to say. So maybe that's really the reason why she's being questioned. Well, I think the reason she's being questioned is because she's not a conservative. <laughs> OK, that, that you're actually right. That's probably the primary reason. And then second, just like President Obama, we can add a new layer of, uh, I don't know, scrutiny because he uh, he and she are both not white men. That's really the the analysis that that uh, that's the lens through which this incredibly valuable analysis from Laura Ingram is being made on today's bonus show. I will tell you about something called butternut squash dermatitis. I will also tell you about being almost pushed onto the tracks on the New York subway yesterday. Lewis will talk to us about a baby named Messiah, and we will hear about something called black midi music, black midi music. Check out our bonus show, which you can access by being a supporter of our program. Go to davidpackmancom slash membership. We have such a good show coming up. I'm thrilled you are with us. Today's interview, I think you will really like.